and say blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. shit. What? This is a perfect time because we're talking about fantasy. We're getting ready to talk about the NFL. And so we might as well. Talk about how you lost one championship and won the other? Yeah. Good job. I, you know what? I was, in, I was in two fantasy leagues this year, right? I was in the championship game. <sighs> Championship game is Championship right. games in both of them. I lost to to Shane Holland. Mm-hmm. He he got me in the in the Good one. Good job, anxiety. Yeah, you you got me, man. And uh, but in our league, you beat Levi. I beat Levi. Levi, if you're watching, you know what? Not only did I beat Levi, but I beat his brother too to get there. I beat both you guys. Crickets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. We yeah, don't care. They don't care. We don't care and stuff like that. Now, it was straight luck because both of them had better teams. <laughs> here's 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 the, the time of year where I get most excited because it's right. playoff football. Mm-hmm. The playoff schedule set. Now, before we talk about the playoff schedule, let's just talk about some everybody that's going to be sitting in the unemployment line. The Polians from Indianapolis will no longer have a job. See you by hash mark. See you by. Let's just do Who the got hash fired? marks. Huh? Who? The Polians, the GM, and the, uh, yeah, for the Colts, they're oh. they're about ready to get, be out of town. About ready, so they haven't yet. Well, let's just check. Okay, because it could have co- happened by now. The head coach for Tampa's gone. Um, let's see. Uh they're gone. Peyton's done. The new headline: It just happened. Colts axe Polians. Peyton's like, what? Or maybe mm, what? <laughs> wow, <laughs> he's gone. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Andrew Luck, you will be an Indianapolis Colt next year. James, you can make this segment called, from the famous words of George Bedford, hash mark, see you bye. <laughs> okay? Because the Polians, you're out of there. And then the Tampa Bay coach is gone. Raheem Morris, see you bye. And then... Spagnola, see you bye. Who's next? I don't know. But I tell you what, they want to get Santonio San Holmes out of fucking... Did you hear about that whole oh, shit? Oh, my God. Rex Ryan's like, <laughs> oh, fuck, man, y'all play for man. You guys got to be t- players. <laughs> Fuck! He's a bitch. I, yeah. I can't stand Rex Ryan. <laughs> Rex Ryan is one of those dudes who talk shit all day long until something doesn't go his way. And then yeah. all of a sudden, now he's quiet as he can be. Shut the fuck up. Fuck Which girls? Yeah. Fuck Richard Mendenhall, Pittsburgh fans, see you bye. My shit's torn. What he tears, ACL? Yep. That's not good. You that's know a, that. That's an prone, injury-prone cat. Yep. But oh. I'm going to tell you right now, the, the one team that's in the playoffs that has more injuries and more problems than any other team is the team that's going to lose first round. And that's the Houston Houston Texans. Yeah. They got no quarterback. They lost a defensive end. Um, Johnson might go down any minute. I think Cincinnati's going to pull it off. I think they're going to win their first playoff game in and a you, long time. And you know what's funny? Um, uh, Houston's a three-point favorite. And the only reason that is is because they're playing at home. They're playing at home. So, really, it's a push. Um, they're, I don't – Cincinnati's played pretty good the last few few games of the season. Um, Houston has managed to stay in it. But, man, I mean – and they rested everybody. They're like, fuck they had you know, to. We have to rest everybody. Hey, they're I mean, starting a rookie quarterback mm-hmm. because Leinert comes in, looks good, and then what, tears a pack? Yeah. I mean, that's just mm. – they, They've just had no luck. Um, To see that they – and, and, and arguably, if they didn't have – I mean, to imagine if they had Johnson and their starting – Schaub. Schaub. I mean, they and would if Arian be, Foster doesn't get hurt. I mean, Arian Foster's what, a, a tweak away from going down? I can honestly say that I, I think if they stayed healthy throughout this, the regular season, that they would be parallel to Green Bay on the AFC. I think that they might only drop the game or two. Yeah, you know I mean, mean, they got a pretty <clears throat> decent defense. Um, with that being said – On to the – now, and I know I'm probably late on this one, and I'm mm-hmm. sure I looked at Dawn's thing on Facebook, but you got the Saints versus the Sinners. Mm-hmm. The Denver Pittsburgh matchup. Oh, you're not going. Oh, do you want to go to that one? Yeah, okay. that's what I'm talking about. The uh, Saints versus Sinners. Oh, I didn't. I yeah. Didn't, yeah. And I'm not talking about the New Orleans Saints. I'm talking about Tebow in the in the Jesus Troop mm-hmm. versus the other quarterback on the other team and his merry old band of misfits. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which I thought he meant actually the New Orleans Saints, but no. the, the, Steelers the Steelers are going to beat the shit out of the Broncos. As much as I hate to say that, no, God's taking a siesta on Sunday, so good luck. This is the thing. I mean, the Steelers are eight-and-a-half-point favorite, but this is what's interesting about this. I want to see what the fucking over-under on this is. Six? (laughs) Wow. I mean, because it's like, who's scoring? Who? 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 Who's going to be the tailback now for the Steelers? Huh? Who's going to be the tailback for the Steelers now? They better hope Harrison picks one I, off and runs it back to the house. I think. I think honestly, both there's a lot of. I think it's wide open. I mean, I I think Pittsburgh's going into the playoffs not playing their best football. 
I think Denver's going into the playoffs and not playing their best football. <laughs> they I think backed Houston, into the playoffs. Yeah. They don't even deserve to be here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Denver just, I, I mean, basically, you know, and, and it, Oakland, fucking their coach went off. You know, because they basically gave up that game. They could be playing uh, the Steelers. Yeah, their but, coach uh, is not happy. But um, I, I see. I got Pittsburgh winning the game. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, um, Pittsburgh eight and a half. I'll take shoot. The Pittsburgh's gonna beat them by more than eight and a half. Yeah, I mean just because. But I'm with you. I mean, it could. I mean, maybe it will. Maybe it'll be a 10, 10 seven game. But I don't see Denver scoring. I literally. They're gonna put eight men in the box and punch Tebow in the mouth and dare him to throw the ball. Yeah, dude. Now, James Harris, Patroy Palomalu, he's gonna be in in Tebow's back pocket all game long. Now the winner, the 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 team that comes out of this with the lowest seed will face uh, New England. New England, and I, you know, it's funny because Cincinnati. In my opinion, it's going to be Cincinnati at New England, mm, yep. and then Pittsburgh's going to have to go to Baltimore. Baltimore. And I'm everyone says it's hard to beat a team twice in one season, so it's got to be even harder to beat one three times. Mm -hmm. Do Baltimore is going to bully? The Steelers, yeah. just like they have. And this we've seen the Steelers did not do well with the 49ers, mm -hmm. and they didn't do well with Baltimore twice. They do not like when another team can punch them in the mouth. Right. And, and, and Baltimore just is, you know, this year, not in the years previously, but this year they've just had the Steelers numbers. Yeah, and like, Ray Rice is just on he's point. He's just going fucking crazy. He really is. You see him yesterday? Yeah. So I think I think your second round of playoffs, it's going to be Cincinnati at New England and Pittsburgh at Baltimore. And yeah. then you could literally have Baltimore New England facing off. And then, ooh. the problem is right now, New England is scoring. New England doesn't care. New England is the honey badgers of the NFL. They well, were let down. Let me tell you something. You know, this is interesting. I'm going to tell the honey badgers. <laughs> this is what's interesting. And I don't know if anybody caught this. Last week, when Bru Breeze, they kept Breeze in, and he, he broke the yeah, NFL. Brady back. was right there with him. Right, which I thought was, was fine, you know, because he's my fantasy quarterback. But also because, you know what, he arguably should have should had the title. And basically, you knew that if he didn't break it on the fit, you know, the last second or last week of the season, that he could go in and Brady could break it before him and get all the, you know, notoriety. Well, a lot of people didn't realize what was going on last this weekend was Jimmy was Graham, the tight end for uh, New Orleans. He broke the tight end yardage record and they kept. Uh, New England was up 42 to 21. Kept they the game. kept him in so he could turn around and break uh, Graham's record. And like, they never said anything about that, but I'm like, I'm going to tell you what. They're up by 21 points, and they're, they're, tight, they're getting ready to go in the playoffs, and they still got that tight end and uh, fucking Brady throwing to him. You know they were trying to break that record. So, the, I mean, New England, to, to me, it just new. And I said it, I think New England is going to be in the Super Bowl because they just they find a way to win, and they have so many offensive weapons. I don't. One, I, okay. <laughs> I, I, mean, I just I think they are. I mean, I, I, they got the best quarterback in the fucking world, and a great leader, man. But I tell you what, man, I, I think if it comes down to them and the Ravens, I'd love to see the Ravens just smash them. But I mm -hmm. still think New England's going to make it. Okay. Now let's okay. move over to the NFC. Okay, Detroit. Yeah, I think they're going to beat New Orleans. Really? Mm -hmm. That's my now, that, if, if I had to pick an upset because to me Cincinnati and it beating, is a huge upset. Right, Cincinnati Nor beating Houston that to me that's not an upset. It, this Houston's banged up, but I think if Detroit if I had to pick an upset in round one, it's going to be Detroit beating New Orleans. The um, Detroit it's going to be a shootout. Can it's, be yes, it, it's going to be a shootout because it's going to be in a dome. You know Stafford going to Megatron, fucking Breeze going to the fifty five receivers he has and stuff like that. And that six foot thirteen giant Jimmy Graham, Graham. he's crazy shit. Um. It's it is. It could come down to defenses, and, and it could come down to definitely whose secondary is on point this game. This New Orleans is the heaviest favorite going into the uh, the wild card playoffs, That's and they're a ten and a half point favorite. I'm not going to go against Breeze in the fucking dome. No, they're I hitting. Saw. They're hitting on all cylinders right now. Yeah, they're so they have so many. Stafford is great, but. He just does not have the fucking weapons Breeze has. I mean, Breeze has so many fucking. Well, and and then another thing is Stafford can, has a tendency to be inconsistent. Right. Where Breeze just right now he isn't. But my thing is is, I think if you get it, no quarterback throws well from his back, mm -hmm. and I just have a feeling and Dama and Sue and those boys are just going to get the Breeze and they're going to smack him. And and the the key to this game is what can Ivory do? Yeah. If they can establish Ivory early and get him averaging, you know, three and a half, four yards a carry early on where they right. have to pay attention to the run, then that's gonna help Breeze tremendously. These it's yeah, you're you're right about that. I mean if they can establish run the problem is is that now Ingram's out. Well he's Lance been out Moore's out. Um uh, it's I, these are two teams that I paid a lot of attention to. One, because, you know, I had Brees. I was Saints. Second of all, I had a bet with uh, somebody, a big bet with Detroit making the playoffs. 
and I'm a big Sue fan because he went to Nebraska. Sue, the only thing he's done is raise my eyebrows the shit he's got into this year. I mean, he doesn't have fucking – he hasn't been dominant. I mean, he's talking about Indomitian Sue, a.k.a. I wrecked my car, a.k.a. the bitch wasn't in the car, a.k.a. don't sue me because you ever were in the car to get hurt. Sue? A.K.A. you think I stomp niggas, but I really don't. <laughs> A.K.A. I was protecting myself. <laughs> A.K.A. I was trying to walk away. A.K.A. I was removing myself. <laughs> A.K.A. you're full of shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I don't, I mean, he, and obviously he's being double teamed. <laughs> he's being double and triple teamed. He needs Farley. But, yeah. Where's Farley? That's at? what they, supposedly it's he's be supposed to be somebody else to put him on his back. Yeah, Farley was supposed to be rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. Mm. A.K.A. I played three games. A.K.A. I'm cuttery. A.K.A. I like reason. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, on to the Atlanta New York Giants game. Um, um, this, you know, what's funny. I'm gonna tell you what. Uh, Giants, the Giants are the favorite, and you know what? I agree because they're playing at home. Uh, you know what? But I'm gonna tell you what. January in New York, mm -hmm. them boys from Atlanta. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is where weather will come into play. It really will, and I agree with you 100. percent And you know the and other this thing is the reason why I think New Orleans is gonna lose the Green Bay. Yeah, they are. It's gonna if it's gonna if it comes down to it, it's gonna be Green Bay and San Francisco. Dude, you're gonna be like playing that. in the fucking Antarctica. It's right. cold as shit. It's cold as balls. Bay. The Giants, one, are great. Dude, in the they're playoffs. they're front four. Mm -hmm. Their front four is nasty. They're gonna pummel Matt Ryan. They sneak the Giants, and I'm gonna tell you, you heard it right here. They, they could end up being in an NFC Championship game. They they sneak into the playoffs, and then they end up. You saw what they did to fucking New England a few years back, and destroyed their whole season. Not good. Um, but the thing also is Atlanta is just straight up sucks away from home. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you <laughs> motherfuckers heard me say it, but I'm going to say it again. Wow. They suck away from home. And then on top of this, home. If, home. if they were going home. away to play in a dome, I'd say Atlanta has a shot. But Atlanta has to travel up to New York on January 8th. And let me tell you right now, for you folks who aren't on the East Coast, it was 37 degrees today, and that wasn't counting the wind blowing. Mm -hmm. now, now, you're going to take Matt Ryan. And all of them, but Julio Jones, Julio Jones played in the SEC. The coldest game he played, 70 degrees. Yeah. It is going to be in the Where teens. did Roddy White go to school? I can't remember. Oh, don't know. Probably somewhere down the south. I want to say Georgia Tech, but I don't, I don't he's, know. He's, he's struggled a little bit this season. But it, I'm going to tell you, this is the thing. The, forget what, what the Falcons have been doing on the ball. When I watched the game last night, the one thing that impressed me about the Giants, and believe me, I was freaking out going, okay, Miles Austin, don't score. Okay, Felix Jones, don't score. <laughs> was the Giants' secondary looked tight i mean and, and can you see all those can you imagine what they'd look like if they had the uh their number one draft pick yeah. that the prince the uh, yeah. corner out of nebraska yeah anyway i think i think the giants win this one i think me let's let's just say let's let's go with the favorites mm -hmm. so if the giants and new orleans win mm -hmm. that means the giants have to go to green bay I don't know. They're not winning that one. But mm -hmm. that means New Orleans, who's an East Coast team, has to travel all the way across the country and play against San Francisco. I'm telling you what. I'm telling you. I love the Saints, mm -hmm. you know, because, I mean, I followed them. But I tell you what, I'm hoping it goes like this because I want to see San Francisco play Green Bay. That'd be awesome. Because That's old school football. It will, I think the Giants, if New Orleans has to go outside and play, and Giants have to go outside, to, I mean, Green Bay, I think that that will end up, you'll see the 49ers versus the uh Packers in the NFC Championship. Now, bowl games. Look at you. <laughs> You're like, huh? Bowl games. Yeah. We'll talk about the bowl games. Uh. I think I think what we're probably going to do, because let's face it, <laughs> in all honesty, these bowl games are second. Like, they're just unimportant. Yeah. Like, let's, let's be serious. Until they get a playoff system, there's only one bowl game that counts, and that's their fault. And mm -hmm. that's the system's fault. And yeah, that's I the agree. game that's being played next Monday. I There's will just, say this. I, you know what I take the most out of the bowl games I've looked at today? I'm looking at all these scores in front of me. And I tell you what. No one's impressed. playing defense. No one's playing defense. No. It's a fucking shootout. Oregon just killed. I mean, they 45-38, to 38, they just beat Wisconsin. But earlier, and uh, it was Nebraska, South Carolina. And I was not too happy about it. But Nebraska you know what? looks so slow. Well, Nebraska looks slow. They and they they've had, they struggled the end of the season. But you know what the thing is is that South Carolina is Steve Spurrier has done something down there, man. He yeah, is they're going to go into the next season top 10 team. And and do you see how he's doing it with defense and a running game? Yeah. 
And he's got all, if you guys don't remember, I said this, South Carolina is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the SEC next year. It'll be LSU, Bama, and South Carolina because he has loads of recruits and, getting ready to come. And here's that. what I'd like to see. I'd like to see if Spurrier can maintain this. Because mm -hmm. about the time Spurrier gets to the top, it's almost like he loses interest. Yeah. But like I think he he's the getting, program. Yeah, I think he's, he's almost like, he's like the Larry Brown of college football. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, but I think this is it for him. Okay. I think this is his swan song. I don't think there's anything after this, but... It's an easy gig. He's Not the king NFL of, again? No. <laughs> the, well, the, that's one thing I want to ask you. What? With with Robert Griffith the mm third, -hmm. aka Redskins number one draft pick, um, do you think that's where he's going to end up? You let, let's face it. Out of all the positions that the Redskins need, you need a young athletic quarterback. Well, this is the thing with the Redskins. Um, the Redskins have not had a good quarterback in a long ass time, and it's, it's it's been their Achilles heel. AKA bad ownership. AKA no GM. AKA AKA just yeah, you know, little they, Napoleon. That, and this is the thing: people will say, "Oh, the <laughs> Daniel Snyder just fucked the franchise up." But now, being a Washingtonian, you he is doing the right things. Yeah, he's I getting mean, his little fingers out of the goddamn mess. It's even though their season was fucked up, they have all the places in peace right now. I mean, they've got a good coach, they've got a great GM. And he's not spending money and doing things. They're going to probably trade up, try to get, you know, RG three. I don't think they're going to need to trade up to get him, because well, if you like if, seventh or eighth, right? Seventh. But if you look at all the teams in front of them, they don't need quarterbacks. Right. The Colts picking number one need a quarterback. No Shocker. They'll pick Luck. Mm -hmm. The next six, everyone in front of the Redskins, they don't need a quarterback. Right. So I don't think you need to trade up or do any. I don't think. The, let me rephrase it. I don't think the Redskins need to do anything to land Griffin. Yeah, they need. I mean, the bottom line is, is and the thing Shanahan has said, and I agree, they're fine. With their offensive line and their run blocking is unbelievable. You see the running backs they put in; they just run all up and down the field. Their defense has got much better. They had a great defense. I mean, Did you see they cut Ryan Terrain? Yeah. Shanahan, like, and I was thinking about this the he's other like, day. I want young legs. And I. I that's why he keeps eight tailbacks, because he needs four for the first half of the season, four for the second mm -hmm. half. And if you play in the first half of the season, guess what? You're probably his not system, playing in the second. His system, you and I could run behind that shit and fucking score touchdowns. No. Okay. Maybe not I exaggerate me. a little Maybe bit. you. But he's definitely come out and said he wants a franchise quarterback. They need it. He hasn't. He doesn't want to put anybody, um, roll him under the bus, and he says he needs a, a, number, a good, good receiver. Yeah, I was about to say my next question is, who's he going to throw the ball to? Yeah. He needs a receiver. Chris Cooley and Fred, uh, a.k.a. I got suspended for marijuana Davis. A K A one of the tackles was smoking with me. We got busted. Mm -hmm. A K A see you next season. Mm -hmm. A K A what a wonderful show. See you later. Oh no, women's MMA. No man, fuck that shit. How about Haywire or Crosswire? I'm going Haywire. No, the name of that woman. Should, I know. Yeah. Man. Okay. Bye. Yeah.